Hey, really quick before the video starts, I just want to let you know I've been doing a lot of charity streams on Twitch lately. Um, we've donated over thousands of dollars to various charities that help out the Black Lives Matter movement, criminal justice reform, and the LGBTQ plus community. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, uh, my Twitch is in the description. Follow me, come hang out, donate if you can, it's a good time. Thank you, enjoy the video, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up, how's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up, how's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos, except for that one time. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. Okay, good enough. Folks. Okay, so I feel like I talk a lot on my channel about things that I don't like, and that can be exhausting, you know, especially for me. I almost lost my mind when I was editing my Stop Pranking Essential Workers video. Oh my God, when I, I had to listen to that girl sing her order so many times. Thank you. I wanted to remove my ears and shoot them off into space like little ear astronauts. So this week I wanted to talk about something on the internet that I love with my entire heart. Aww. Memes, okay? I love memes a lot. Unfortunately, there's a lot of meme pages out there who just like steal people's content, but there's a lot of good meme pages out there uh, who post like original, like funny stuff. And even if they are using someone else's content, they, you know, they ask first for permission and they also give them credit. So that's good. The meme pages I follow have single-handedly ruined my sense of humor for the rest of my life. So are they really that great? Uh. I don't know. For example, there's this account called The Surreal Bank, uh, and they posted this meme a few days ago. Man, this photo is funnier than any joke I've ever written. And I don't know if I should be happy or sad about that. I'll put up on the screen uh, some of my favorite meme pages that I follow, so go check them out, go show some love. You know, they're funny, they're doing funny stuff, and it's good. So yeah, I love all those meme pages, but there's one meme page that is quickly becoming my new favorite one. That page is called Mocha Memes MC. It was a meme page that was sent to me by uh, by one of you guys. Uh, I don't know how you stumbled across it, but thank you. So this account, uh, they post like these relatable memes. A lot of them are just like really poorly translated. So we're gonna take a look at some today, but before we uh, before we do, uh, just a quick disclaimer. This is by no means me being like, haha, these people are bad at English. It's not what I'm saying at all, that's not my intention. English is the dumbest, most inconsistent language in the entire world. These memes just make me laugh a lot and I hope they make you a laugh as well. So without further ado, let's go. Boys quarantine days is nothing without shorts. I don't know what I'd do if I had to go through this quarantine without my shorts. I I'd love to think that the person running this meme page just really loves shorts. Like we've all heard of sports fans, this guy's a shorts fan. You know, he's got posters of famous shorts on the wall. <laughs> you know, he's got short center on his TV and he's got a signed pair of shorts from Martin Short <laughs> on the wall. And he's sitting in his like short covered room. He's like, you know what? This quarantine may be long, but at least I got my shorts. That's a new character I got to work on. Guy who loves shorts during a pandemic. So, <laughs> so specific. Okay, we just got your COVID results back. Uh, you, you tested positive. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so I'm good to go. No, so right, see you doc. Positive is bad. When someone's like, you like burgers? And I'm like, yes, I like burgers. And they're like, are you positive? I'm like, yes, I'm positive. That's a good thing. Yeah, but I do in like medical, burgers. yes, it's, it's a good, positive, okay. positive is good. Okay, enough, it's, it's you have you have COVID, okay? I'm baffled. I did, how was how was this even possible? It's highly contagious. Have, have you been wearing your mask? Yes, I've been wearing my mask, okay? But the ones that they've been selling are kind of like pants for your face, you know, they cover all of it. You know I'm a shorts guy, okay? So I made my own mask that's, you know, a little bit more like shorts for your face. Okay, that explains why you tested positive. Well, we don't know that for certain. Okay, well, regardless, I'm gonna need you to self-isolate, okay? You're gonna... You're probably gonna have, um, you know, a fever. Okay. You know, you might. You're gonna be very, very tired, and you're All also right. gonna experience uh, shortness of breath. Oh, what? My breath is gonna wear shorts? No, cool. that doesn't even well, make this sense. This COVID stuff isn't so bad after all. <laughs> so you can see why I love these memes so much. But they only get better. So <laughs> let's look at another one. Girls' eyes will speak more than thousands of words. So I guess what they're saying is that like you can tell whatever a girl is thinking just by looking at her eyes, and that's true. A lot of people don't know that. Um, like for example, if you see like uh, like your girlfriend, she's like sitting down, she's like crying, right? If you look at her eyes and there's tears coming out and they're all red and bloodshot, that usually means she wants you to go um, play COD with the boys. But maybe on the other hand, they're saying 
the girl's eyes can talk. You know, I've never seen a girl's eyes talk, but also some people have never seen God and they believe in God, so it's the same thing. If you identify as a girl, please leave a comment. Let me know if your eyeballs can say more than thousands of words, because that'd be really impressive. Because guys' eyes can only say like seven words. And those seven words are, I wish my eyes could talk more. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, whoever runs this account really has a thing for eyes. He has like an eye fetish. Sounds like a, if Apple did porn. <laughs> the brand new eye fetish. I feel like they have an eye fetish because they post about eyes a lot. Like this meme. Sunlight is not more powerful than my crush eyes. Uh, Jean Grey be like. You, you know, cause you know X-Men, she dated Cyclops. The guy shoots. Okay, seriously though, whoever this meme account is crushing on, they need their own comic book. They have talking eyeballs stronger than the sun. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, your crush may have starry eyes, but my crush's eyes are literal stars. They're, they're she got two red dwarfs right there. And it's hot as fuck. Literally, it's boiling. I have to wear shorts whenever I'm around her, so it's it's kind of a win-win. Because -win. <laughs> I love shorts during a pandemic. All that talk of shorts and I i didn't even, I'm wearing shorts right now, dude. I'm wearing shorts. I run the account. <gasps> 90s kids is only persons to become a trendy grandfather in future. This is great news for a 90s kid. It doesn't matter what, what gender you identify as, no matter what happens, you will be a trendy grandfather in the future. Dude, I'm gonna be the trendiest fucking grandfather in the future. I'm gonna be wrinkly as shit and still smooth. I'm gonna have yeah. fucking iced out dentures. I'm gonna frost the tips of my receding hair. I'm gonna have old man drip, which old man drip. sounds really gross <laughs> now, now that I said that out loud. So I apologize. Okay, next one. Short boys have more talent, but they can't show that. In this picture, you can't tell if this guy is actually short or not. This is just like a super close up shot of his face. <laughs> like, yeah, this guy's short as fuck. Look how short his head is. But this is true, dude, they speak facts. Short guys are the most talented people in the world, okay? Dude, they're doing shit beyond your wildest dreams, but you just can't see them because they're because short guys are so tiny. You can't, they're, they're invisible to the naked eye. Yes, well, I was, I was at the grocery store. Guys, I look! A of eggs. Look! Oh my God, I have these eggs. Guys, this I just accidentally found a cure for cancer while solving climate change and it. racism. It. Good look! Cook them in an omelet. Toss them up. Yeah. Got guys! Egg, right? egg shell in my mouth. <sighs> What's the use? I'm just a short guy. Nobody can see all the awesome things I'm doing because I'm so short. But that'll all change. <laughs> Once I use my new invention, it'll turn everybody short. So I'll be the tall guy and everyone will pay attention to me. <laughs> Whoa, it's happening. I'm growing several inches. Wow. <laughs> now I'm the tall guy. You all have to pay attention to me. <laughs> anyway, that's what I was saying about my the eggs. short days it's, are it's over. It's white and yeah, I'm the tall egg guy. You're egg I'm shape. tall as can be. You know, I had that cry 12 of them. 12 of them. <laughs> what do you two have to say about me being tall now? Do you know what that guy is saying? I can't I can't hear him. He's too tall. Seriously? It's really very rare to see a milky girl on roadside. Okay. So I guess they're using the term milky to describe someone who's fair skinned. And if that's the case, I'm I'm all for that. We gotta start doing that everywhere. Look at my cute, healthy, milky baby. Last week I left him out in the sun for too long, so he turned a little uh, strawberry milky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you wanna hold him? Sure. Um, just don't try to make a milkshake. I also really like how this meme is worded, like like how they just like went to like a seminar <laughs> on like milky girls, and they like came to a realization like walking out of the, the lecture hall, they're like, huh, when you get down to it, at the end of the day, it really is very rare to see a milky girl on roadside. <laughs> I'm a changed man. Okay, this next one, it's my favorite meme, probably of all time. Uh, so let's let's take a look. When beard guys suddenly trim. What is your reaction about this? Dude, that's so good. <laughs> that moment when guys shave. Thoughts? The first time I saw this, I, I almost cried. I was so happy. I'd love to think that like, this is the guy who runs the account. He's had a beard his whole life. And then he's like, you know what, I'm gonna shave. But he's like super self-conscious. So he uses his like anonymous meme page to get feedback. <laughs> Fuck man, I wish more meme pages did that. No one. Me wearing my new shoes. Comment what you think about my new shoes. 
That moment when you get a new haircut? Any and all feedback is welcome. If meme pages were just super insecure about themselves all the time, I mean, they probably are. <laughs> okay, next one. There is so many drugs, but girls' upper lips are lit. Okay, hey guys, uh, before we go on any further, uh, I, I read this meme wrong. I just forgot to say the word mole. I don't know, I can't, I apparently can't read. So let's just pretend that it said what I said because I went on to write a whole sketch based around this. But girls' upper lips are lit. Sorry. You see, this is why I love this account so much because I've been saying this for years, man. You know, whenever I was at like a party, you know, and I see people smoking the ganja, you know, sniffing the pow pow. I just want to jump up on the table and go, guys, what are you doing? We all know girls' upper lips are way more lit. But I could never say that. They think I'm crazy. If only there was a world where drugs were replaced by girls' upper lips. Yo, I'm trying to get fucked up tonight, dude. Where the... Where the girl's upper lips at? Oh, it's all good, bro. I got a girl coming over right now. And then it's upper lip time. Oh, hell yeah. What's the girl's name? Uh, I believe her name is uh, Caitlin Bennett. Bro, say psych right now. What's wrong? Bro, Caitlin Bennett doesn't have an upper lip. Bro, what the fuck were you thinking? She's gonna come over here and shit her pants again. What the... Bro, what the <sighs> fuck do you mean she doesn't have an upper lip? Bro, that's impossible. Oh, really, bro? Look. Oh my god, what the fuck? How is it? How does she, I know. How does she talk? How does- Yeah, I know. I'd shit myself at a party too if I look like that. Oh my god. I know, god. bro. I know. Ugh. See? <laughs> oh my god. See what you've done now? Okay, well, I'm sorry, bro. Okay, it's hard to convince girls to come over so we can get upper lit off their upper lip. Okay? Well, what the fuck are we gonna do now, huh? The night's ruined. You ruined the night. I don't know, bro. Maybe if we just smoked weed like everybody else, this wouldn't be a problem. Are you giving me lip? Look, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just saying that- No. If... Are you giving me lip? I'm, I'm not sure I follow. Come on, bro. You know what we always say. If, if a girl's upper lip, lip can't get you high, give a boy's upper lip a try. Okay, that's all we'll look at today. Um, please follow this account. The memes are really just treats for your eyes. Being since your eyes have mouths I can talk, they can eat them, they can eat the memes. But enough about treats for your eyes. Let's talk about treats for your ears. I'm of course talking about today's sponsor, Raycon. Take it away. Look, we all love listening to music, podcasts, audiobooks all day long. It's a proven fact. And I don't know about you, but if I'm gonna have something in my ear all day long, it better sound great and feel even better. And that's where Raycon comes in. If you've never heard of Raycon, listen up. Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors, and unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems. The other wireless earbuds I've tried were always running out of battery super quick, and I was always stressed if they were charged or not, and it was super frustrating, you know? But Raycon's compact carrying case can charge the earbuds four times on a single charge. Wowza. And just because they're high quality earbuds doesn't mean you have to spend a bunch of money either. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. And don't just take my awesome cool word for it. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Cardi B are obsessed with Raycon. They can't get enough of these little guys. And let me tell you something, neither can I. Or should I say, neither can ear. <laughs> Raycons are perfect for working from home, working out, and listening to music and podcasts for hours without driving your roommates, significant other, children, or your neighbors crazy. And this sounds pretty snazzy, I'll admit it, but it gets snazzier, okay? Raycon has hooked up the great citizens of Curtistown with an amazing deal. Just click the link in my description or go to buyraycon.com slash curtistown for 15% off your order. It's that easy. Link in the description, 15% off. Bada bing, bada boom. Put that in your ear and and like and, and, and like the way it sounds. Okay, thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Bye bye. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press the like button because one like equals one 
Milky Baby. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want me to do a, a part two to this because they have lots of photos that I, that I didn't get to. So yeah, let me know. And don't forget to press the subscribe button because once you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you didn't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. If you want to see the other uh, things I do, uh, you can check the description. Instagram, Twitter, podcast, merch, Twitch, all that bullshit will be down there. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'd stick around, but I have to go. I have to cut all my pants in half. See ya. Kiwi.